Good morning, John. I have a problem. We have a problem, not just you and me. All of us have a problem, and that problem is me. And I hate being the problem, which is a problem because I'm always the problem. And the problem that is the reason why I am so frequently the problem is that I cannot decide who I am. And in the world of the personal brand, it is good to find a person who you are and stick to it. And for me, it's so clear, this should obviously obviously be science guy. Science guy is an amazing job. I love doing it. It's a dream come true that actually feels like as good as I thought it would feel to achieve because I get to help people learn and feel excited about their world, which are good things that I am doing. But John, I can't freaking stick to it. Sometimes I also want to be a sock guy and other times I want to be like the cancer guy and other times I want to be like internet media theory guy and other times I want to be creator advocate guy and then yet other times I want to be for the love of God please vote guy and often I would like to be business guy and sometimes I am required to be business guy even when I don't want to be and last but not least I would love to just be like a silly little guy guy who just trundles around the internet making people laugh showing up on all your favorite podcasts maybe doing Dungeons and Dragons sometimes. This is too many guys. Like, it's a fine number of guys for, like, me, Hank Green, individual guy. Like, everyone's multifaceted. But it's not an ideal number of guys for the effective marketing of a personal brand. Nor is it a great number of guys for all the people who work with me and rely on me to be the kind of guy they need me to be on any given day. Well, thus, me having a problem. And thus, me being a problem. And look, I don't actually care whether my multi-guy problem is bad for my personal brand. Obviously, I did not get where I am by following personal brand strategy advice. People sometimes give me personal brand strategy advice and I'm I'm like, I know more than you. All right. But it does matter to me when I simply do not have the energy or the time to be all the guys I expect myself to be able to be. And I don't think there are any quick fixes for that problem, but I am like working on some slow ones. But I will tell you one thing. I will absolutely not stop being a sock guy. I think I am on my way to being America's premier sock guy. And I know, I hear your jokes, Hank Green out here soliciting feet pics, but you cannot imagine the magic that has occurred with the Awesome Socks Club. It is so much bigger and so much more important than we ever imagined it could be. And who can you trust more than I to have ushered that vision into reality? Can you think of a person who is more sock aligned than me? I will not be your president, but I can be America's sock guy. I don't care about your politics. I will sell you socks. That's actually not true. I want to sell socks to people who care about their world and who care that in addition to getting more socks that are amazing and feel good and that are each designed by a different independent artist, all of the profit, all of the profit from the socks will go to make the world more equitable and just by helping to build a better world for those who have the least. I want people to look at my face and say, is that is that the science guy or the sock guy? And then I want to look into their eyes and in a deep guttural rumble growl to them, I do not ride the storm, I am the storm. And this month is Sock Month. Right now with the coupon code FIRSTSOCK6, you can experience the joy of the awesome Socks Club subscription and get your first sock for just $6. Actually, you get two of them. Your first two socks, your pair, the first pair of socks for just $6. Thank you so much to all of my citizens who have been using the Rock Your Socks hashtag to share your socks. Look at these remarkable people adventuring across the world. This one is actually my foot. And if you have children, don't you want to have amazing socks designed by independent artists that match theirs? Don't you want to tell them that there are people in Sierra Leone who are going to have a hospital because of the socks that you both wear together? Don't you want to be surprised and delighted every month by these socks showing up on your door? step just like the over 500 people who have left us reviews with an average of 4.9 out of 5 stars. Don't you want to do it today when you can get your first pair for just six dollars? This is how I become America's first sock man of America with grit, determination, and with a deal that is simply too good to pass up. John, I will see you in August.